How's it going guys? It's your boy Raider Knight. We're jumping into Age of History 2. I'm probably going to be playing as the UAE. I feel like it might be fun. It'll be different. It'll be interesting. Kind of a smaller country, but I want to play as them. Uh, you know, we're going to kind of try to ignore, you know, what's going on over here. It's just kind of cringe. I'm not going to lie. You know, there's just a little bit of, uh, you know, bad stuff going on over here. And quite frankly, guys, as the UAE, I don't want to be involved in that. I don't want to see this on my border. You know, it's just kind of an ugly sight to behold. But we're going to be trying to, you know, make Dubai, Abu Dhabi, all these cities really thriving here. And uh, just see what we can accomplish as the UAE today. So starting out, you know, we got a decent amount of troops. I'm probably going to keep the troops, actually. It's going to be a little bit different. I might actually decide to keep them today. Um, because I, I kind of just feel like it. I don't know why. I'm going to max out my uh, income tax, my economy growth, and maybe a little bit in population at one point. But we're going to do research first. And uh, with all of our wealth we're generating, what we're going to do at the start is just invest in... Just getting more, you know, tech level up. I want to get my tech up a little bit because we're not really that amazing. We're kind of average in tech, I suppose. Maybe we're doing a little bit better than I thought, but I want to get tech up pretty early on. How's the war in Afghanistan going? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> it's not a good sight to behold, gamers. Bro, we're making fuck tons of money, though. Look at the, how fast our treasury is going up. I'm not gonna lie, we're doing pretty good for ourselves. I'm gonna start investing in population growth. I want to get it to at least five, and then uh, we'll start working on, like, the actual country. Should I invest in Dubai? I feel like Dubai is going to have to be, like, our major city, right? So we're going to invest in Dubai, get a port built up, a farm. Let's get a farm here also. And uh, yeah, we're going to start investing in Dubai. Obviously, it being our most important city, I would assume. I guess right now Abu Dhabi is a little bit more important, but that's okay. Alright, so I've just been kind of chilling, been building up. I'm at rank 42 right now with barely any provinces. I took over Quaytar. Or, how do you say it? Qatar? Quaytar? I don't really remember. You know, people will be angry about that, probably. <laughs> Isn't that Cutter? No, it's called Cutter. That's how you say it. It's called Cutter. Am I right? Am I right? Please tell me I'm right. If I'm not right, I'm going to be really sad. But uh, we're going to do some trolling now. I think we're ready for it. We're going to save up a lot of money. We're probably going to take over Bahrain as our next target. I feel like that might be pretty easy. I know I make fun of people for draining their capital, but I did drain my capital a little bit to take over Qatar. Uh, but mainly just because we have not really a whole lot of population centers in our country. For this war though, I'm going to be draining uh, Qatar as like the province. And we're going to send those troops to take over Bahrain. I'm not really sure how many people we're actually going to need for this conflict, so... You know, maybe we'll get like, uh, about 10,000-ish, something like that. I don't think we need it, but, uh, well, actually we probably do need it, but, you know, we're just gonna try it out. That should be plenty enough. I don't think they can build an army fast enough to actually, uh, defeat this. Oh, wow. They have a tech advantage? Question mark? No, they don't. They just have more troops, apparently. Well, I guess we gotta drain the capital. I didn't really want to, but, uh... We're gonna have to drain the capital for this turn, boys. Sadly, they did take over, uh... Dubai for a second, though. That was kind of scary. We will take over Bahrain, though. The country has uh, defeated them, and they actually had a pretty good stack there, too. But uh, Bahrain will join the UAE as another territory of our overseas empire. Let's see if we can like raise a military. I'm trying to get more land because we're kind of we're kind of poor. I'm not gonna lie, we don't really have 
a whole lot of land to really turn to at the moment, and I want to start taking stuff over. I'm feeling kind of aggressive. I'm feeling kind of evil today. I'm kind of ready to do some trolling, I'm not gonna lie. I think our next target will be... Whoa, Cur Kuwait has a lot of troops as well, though. Should we take over Kuwait? They got a big economy. It's gonna be a hard war. Eh, let's do it. Why not? I think we can take them over. We should be able to just walk in and take over their capital, if I'm not mistaken. And we have been able... Oh shit, we're at war with Saudi Arabia! I did not realize that we were going to get dragged into a war with the Saudis. Alright, well, I guess we're in a war with Saudi Arabia boys, you know? That's just kind of what happens, I'm not going to lie. One second you're fighting the people of Kuwait, and the, se the next second you're at war with all of Saudi Arabia boys. That's just how it works. I don't make the rules, but that's just, you know, that's just kind of how it works, I'm not going to lie. It's a sad thing to say, but, you know, sadly, we are at war with all of Saudi Arabia. They have a lot of troops, too, if I'm not mistaken, so... This could get ugly. Yeah, they got a lot of troops. We're gonna have to build up a gigantic military. We might even, actually, be able to just stop them. What if we build, like, a castle and just, like, a port or whatever? I'm going to build, like, a lot of castles just everywhere. Oh, man, they took that over. Yikes. They could actually storm that city and take it if they wanted to. I'm going to be buffing these places up. I'm going to back the troops up. And we're also going to be supporting both of these areas. And just try to build up a very large military to kind of defend this land. They took over that city, but, I mean, that's unsurprising. I'm going to back these guys up, and we're going to build a... Uh... Actually, that already has a really good fortress, so... We'll just back those guys up for a second here. And we'll continue to buff these provinces and try to... Try to get a military set up that is strong enough to actually defend this country. From Saudi Arabia's advances. Oh shit, we're at war with this country too. Is that Kuwait? What the fuck is Kuwait doing? Kuwait just doing a little bit of trolling in the water. I see how it is. Alright, well we're going to kill Kuwait's navy in a large strike against their country. And that should do the job for the most part, I would think. After that, we'll retake this province, and we'll also launch a, a just a gigantic attack on all of Saudi Arabia, as we will take over, like, all their land. We'll do a gigantic strike on Saudi Arabia. This will be basically the greatest strike in all of human history against Saudi Arabia. So we'll do a gigantic strike here on Saudi Arabia, taking over a couple provinces. I guess we didn't take over as many as I was hoping, but uh, see if we can just end the war. Take over Kuwait and just be kind of done with this conflict. I think we won. Saudi Arabia has surrendered to the UAE as they rightfully should, and we have gained a little bit more land, but we lost a lot of population in the progress. So was it really worth it? Probably not, but uh, I don't know. I think our next target is going to be Somalia. They just seem like quite the easy country to take over, I'm not going to lie. It's also a nice little African colony out here, so let's just start this war up, take over all of Somalia. It should be fairly straightforward, I would assume. Maybe not. It looks like it's already starting to be a little bit of an issue to just land here, 
But uh, we, we should hopefully make a little bit of gains. Hopefully, question mark. Looks like Somalia is making it very difficult to actually advance here. And we've only been here for like a couple turns. <laughs> Why is this game so hard? Alright, we'll build up a, a second military. The, the boys will have to attack. I wonder if we can just end the war with Somalia. Alright, well we managed to at least split Somalia in half. I would say that is a gaming moment, if there if there is a gaming moment. We've split Somalia into two separate pieces. You know, nobody's ever done this before. So, we took over a lot more land in Somalia, but Kenya decided to attack us randomly. And this has been a very difficult war for us to gain any advance in. Kenya managed to like straight up occupy all of our Somalian land. I used Kuwait City to build up a large military. Almost 200,000 people have died in this war. Let me check the statistic, it's crazy. Bro, how many people have died on both sides? On our side, 267,000 deaths. <laughs> and on Kenya's side, 336,000 deaths. Bro, this is one of the most violent wars I have ever been in. <laughs> and it's against Kenya. Bro, more people have died in this war <laughs> than Kenya has population at the moment. Like, straight up, Kenya has lost more people in this war. Like, they've lost a majority of their population. <laughs> this war is crazy, bro. Like, literally, I've had to drain Somalia just to keep our military afloat in this one province. Once we drain Kenya a little bit more, I think we're making the charge after they attack us. I think we're ready to strike. Kenya has lost so many troops. Their country is demoralized. We are going to invade Kenya and really, you know, punish them for their crimes. They have done some terrible things to our country. So I think it's only right now that we just punish Kenya for their crimes. Obviously, we take the capital, we take all these little provinces that they have dotting around the landscape, and uh, we're going to get our revenge. Kenya, pretty evil place, I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised that they kept on just, you know, sending their people to death, but Kenya has been fully occupied by the UAE government. This is a big dub for us. We're going to take as much land from them as we possibly can. You know, they did some evil things to us, so... Uh, it's honestly only right that we take over like half their country. I'm afraid, comrades, Pakistan, the mighty country Pakistan, has destroyed us in this game. What do you think about this? This is sad. Very sad. I don't know if they can hear you. You can put the thing this on. This is sad. Gamers, this is a sad moment, okay? I'm over here playing Fortnite Battle Royale. The best game in history. And this man has lost his country to some, <laughs> some fucked up shit right now. I don't know what happened really because I haven't been paying attention. Nor do I really know how to play the game. But he just lost his country. Can we get an F in the comments below? Remember to like and subscribe. 30% of you are not... <laughs> Everybody, can we have a round of applause for my brother? He says plug his channel. I will plug his channel in the comments. I've lost my country today. This is an L. I'm crying. I'm shaking and crying, bro. This is the worst day of my life. Thank you guys for watching. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what the fuck are you watching on Fortnite? All right, he's watching. He's playing Fortnite, but...
Uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.